XOMAR just released their camera test scores for the new Google Pixel 8a. And honestly, I'm very, very disappointed because, for example, in the video quality, this 8a is essentially the same as the much older 68, which I have and I'm actually shooting all the videos on this YouTube. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's not a bad camera, but it's uh, it, it lags in video for sure. And if you want to see the quality, you can check out my previous videos. 95% of them are shot with this camera. When you compare the overall score, it's it's pretty much the same as the previous 7.8. I guess in photo quality, it's a very, very marginal upgrade, a little bit, but really essentially the same, I think. However, it does got very good upgrade in the zoom capabilities, this new 8A. So I think that's why the score is bigger, because the zoom capabilities is way improved. But when we check the fine details, you can see it's pretty much the same. It only excels a bit more in exposure, tiny bit, tiny bit in noise, and also it's way, way more terrible in the bokeh results. That's quite a surprising result because both of these phones share the same camera hardware. So why it's different, I don't know. Anyway, the sensors being the same isn't really a problem because, for example, on my Pixel 2 and Pixel 6 8a, uh, they basically share the same sensor and even though it's like four generations leap in phones they have mind-blowing quality difference so the sensors doesn't really matter because Google can do crazy software magic. However, where it's really disappointing is the video recording quality and it's actually much worse than the Pixel 7 8 so for some reason what the hell when we check the fine details, it's only slightly better in the color, actually. Actually, this is better in color, for example, but in the autofocus, it's worse than the uh, 7, 8. Uh, and also in noise, it's much, much worse. So it's crazy why it's so like that. Overall, if you actually use uh, your camera for a lot of video recording, do not get the regular 8A. Because it's literally worse than the older 7, 8. And it's essentially the same as the 6A. So if you actually want a good camera for video recording quality, get like the Google Pixel 8 or 8 Pro basically, and those are insane cameras. And the, the score, for example, on the regular 8 uh, is 148. So it's insane jump in the quality. Also, this budget Pixel series do not come with laser autofocus when you compare to the regular uh, normal 8 and 7. And the autofocus on them are quite terrible actually. And this was really the main reason why I maybe thought I would upgrade to the 8A. Maybe they would fix the autofocus, but it's still the same. It doesn't have the laser autofocus and it struggles a lot. And I'm really struggling in my videos when I make the videos with that autofocus on the 6A. And I imagine it will be just as bad on these ones since it does not have that technology. Anyway, something interesting I found today. If this was helpful, make sure to hit the like button. See you.